Hi everyone, guys. Let's talk about uh, Fudu Holdings. Uh, they operate as an online brokerage uh, and wealth management platform in the Hong Kong internationally. The Snowflake analyze shows pretty nicely on the future, also past. They are not paying dividends. Trading is happening 21% below the site's estimated fair valuation. Earnings are forecasted to grow almost 30% per year, and uh, the earnings grew already by. 476 percent over the past year they have strong fundamentals on the risk side they have high level of depth volatile share price over the past few months so we've seen that uh, regulators on the market has been pretty rough and uh, we saw the mid-february the peak was around 200 dollars per share and since that it decreased already by 66 percent so they have actually good price targets 156 dollars per share it means 146 percent upside in good scenarios the 12 month forecast looking pretty nice uh, 171 dollars and i'm not sure about market watch what what is the counting but here's uh, even better price targets in good scenarios <laughs> yeah 1500 and 513 on average thousands so i'm not sure about that numbers but uh anyway they have also printed a lot of shares out and uh, that is diluting the shareholders they printed a lot of the shares out last year and through the past year actually shares outstanding if we we'll look at that screen uh, 12 month last 12 month increased by 12 millions but on the other hand the total sales are increased pretty well also because uh, from the three to five billion that's pretty nice growth there the fruit holdings competitors line group holdings price history so this is actually the one of the prices that is also within the china's markets decreasing so nothing new there the regulars are still strong stronger than the fundamentals and uh, but one of the things that i like in china stocks that they have stronger much stronger fundamentals but on the other hand, the risk side is the regulation in the country. One year return, 105%. Price volatility is higher than the industries and also average market volatility. About the company, 2007 founded, 1300 employees. And uh, yeah, so there is actually Hong Kong dollars, market cap 72 billion revenue 5 billion 2.6 earnings so this is a profitable company one of the rares that i research p ratio 27 uh, not so bad as uh, as on the markets valuation side so based on simple wall street is uh, undervaluated fair valuation should be around 80 dollars this is the most conservative uh, price target. Basically, this is the simple Wall Street. I found it more accurate. It counts more of the fundamentals and the tip ranks, uh, showing also including the fundamentals, but also some of the future future impacts and market watch. I'm not sure where this coming from. Is there's uh, some of the recommendations on the analyst or what where the information collected mm -hmm. future growth as i said almost 30 percent forecasted annually pretty nice growth there and uh, earnings per share growth is forecasted as well as to grow they are profitable financial actually past performance so historical annual earning growth increased by 88 percent that is meaning the earnings from the minus 116 
million raised to the 2 billion, 2.6 billion. They have high quality earnings and financial health side. So th there's the risk side about the company. They have a lot of a depth. So 34 billion uh, of the depth equity, 20 billion and cash 1.7 billion. So they don't have uh, enough cash to cover the level of depth. Debt to equity ratio is 167%. It's considered as high. The balance sheet looks mostly green, but there's a uh, on the corner, on the down corner, on the liability side, red, red boat there. And they're not paying dividends. Ownership breakdown and insiders. There was two transactions company sold last December last year's December and November 39 million and 31 million so that is pretty huge actually if we take a look at the graph so December and November December 20 31 24th of November yeah so actually they were selling here not even waiting for the for the peak but who, who knew anyway ownership breakdown so we see like most of the Chinese companies holding by insiders 35% institutions second 22% public companies 21 general public 20 top shareholders we see BlackRock is actually here 221% adding Morgan Stanley adding 63% actually there's many of the companies have increasing this one to their portfolios this is reported back in end of the June same here same here but anyway there's the tunnel if we we'll look at the technical analyze so whenever the price was hitting the support level 100 it rebounds to the upper line upper tunnel but we see that this fall from the support line so i'm not sure where this price will go so since it already passed through the support level that is meaning that um, there's a possibility that the price could even go to the 40 dollars per share the same numbers we saw back in last year and as i said shares outstanding every year since the 2017 increasing total sales luckily increasing as well and investing.com by the way summarizing the stock for long-term investors as a sell thanks for watching this video subscribe to the channel like the video and see you in the future one